Good morning. It's 841 now on Michigan This Morning and all morning long. Our on the road crew has been stirring the pot at this Traverse City restaurant. The Soup Cup is a quick serve eatery offering ladles of comfort and flavor in every bowl. Jenny and Stephanie are there now celebrating National Soup Month one final time. Good morning. Courtney, Adam, I can't see you, but I, I just heard what you said about stirring the pot. I really hope you were giving us the motion. Fan that is stirring the pot. Hey, I'm thinking, what is life without a little bit of spice in it? And that is why we're talking about chilies here. Actually, this Saturday, the big chili fourth annual school here at the Soup Cup in Traverse City. But right here, Scott, this is kind of what it's all based off of, right? What do we have in front of us? Basically, these are some of the chilies that we're going to be using with our chili experience this okay. weekend. Um, what we have here is common jalapeno, our everyday garden variety bell peppers, but now with genetic engineering, you can get anywhere from purples to browns to multicolors to whatever. We have a Hungarian wax potato, or wax chilies over here, our favorite mm. habaneros, okay. Hot, hot, hot. We have some anchos, some pastillos, and some uh, cosbells, I believe they're pronounced. Not exactly on that. Mm. But what we have found, and we've talked about it earlier, chilies, can't, chilies are from the Americas. They're not from the old world. Okay. They were brought over in that old 1492 Columbus sailed the ocean blow. Mm -hmm. He brought them over to yeah. the New World, and that transferred around from Africa to India to Asia and stuff like that. Prior to that, they were using Piper, uh, Piper nigrum, which is the black peppercorn. That made things spicy back yeah. then until they got the world of the chilies. What is the hottest chili? Nowadays they talk about being the ghost chili pepper. Okay. Um, it's kind of a, a gener genetically modified chili that's been made. Is it invisible? I don't ghost know, I've never <laughs> seen it. <laughs> I've never seen it, I don't know. But actually the hottest that's what's really grown is the Yucatan habanero. Okay. There's even wild chilies growing on the Galapagos Islands. So okay. chilies are all over a place. And the thing that people go with is like the five alarm chili. Right. After you get chili being so hot, you can't taste the flavor. All these have distinctive flavors, uniqueness to everything about it. But if you get so hot, you burn your taste buds and from now on all you're doing is tasting burnt type stuff. That's not what we're going to do. You're going to learn all about the craft of the good chili if you come to that big annual chili school here at the Soup Cup. But you know what they say here. If the soup rings your bell, you got to come on over and ring the bell at the Soup Cup. Oh, yeah. Happy National Soup Month, guys. We'll see you soon. I'm, I need a bell a good, to ring. Right. I love soup. <laughs> I love a good chili, so it might be a good good yeah, place to go over you the don't weekend. Have plans this weekend. I imagine yeah. that's a great event. Certainly. It's 844 now on Michigan this morning. Michael Stevens has our 10 minute weather guarantee. And Michael, it uh, looks like those temperatures are going to be just a little on the mild side for January. Yeah. Not like a habanero. No, more like a ghost pepper. No. <laughs> oh, no. Maybe like a bell pepper. <laughs> Scotch bonnet. A, a green pepper? I don't know. I'm not a pepper guy.